fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for a quick public service announcement PSA video. But well, what have I got to talk to you about today? It is the return of our least favourite thing, last chance to buy at Forgeworld. So, a number of products have over the last few days gone on to a last chance to buy status and I just wanted to make a quick video talking about this to mainly give you all a heads up um, but let me just fill you in on the background first so here are the facts on uh, this Tuesday a single kit the Mechanicum Macro Carried Explorator went on to last chance to buy status today so today is Wednesday a selection of other kits at the Forge World web store have also gone on to last chance to buy status. At the time of making this video, these are as follows. As I say, the uh, Macro Carried Explorator for the Mechanicum, which is a real shame to see it go, because that's a, a lovely model. The Deathstorm Drop Pod with Assault Cannons is also on last chance to buy. These are the only two, I suppose you might say, unique vehicle kits that have been affected. A number of elements of the Zone Mortalis sets have gone on a last chance to buy as well. And the remainder that I've seen so far are a number of Legion specific doors. So there are some Sons of Horus Rhino front plates and doors, the Imperial Fist Land Raider door set, the Space Wolves Rhino Demos pattern side door set, which is quite a surprising thing to see because that's been out only perhaps around a year, maybe a bit over a year, so that's very quick to go. There is an Empress Children set that's on last chance to buy for doors, and also the Death Guard. Those are what I can remember off the top of my head. Um, I'll leave a link in the video description to a couple of tweets that are going over on Twitter where all of the last chance to buy products have been identified. Oh, I nearly forgot. The um, scenic diorama base from the Magnus Red versus Lee Manorus diorama. That has gone on to last chance to buy as well, but as a single kit. You can still buy, uh, the moment in time when I make this video, the combination kit, which includes Magnus Red, Lee Manrus and the scenic base is still showing as for sale and has no last chance to buy indicator. So that may mean that they're just taking the separate base, uh, which is £20 at the moment, off as an individually for sale item. In some respects, that's consistent with what they did with the Sanguinius base, which was only released for a limited time on the Forge World web store. So a few thoughts. Well, firstly, there's been no communication from either Forgeworld via email, which is how we heard about this uh, just over a year ago, because last chance to buy started in May 2018, but there hasn't been an email yet, and the Warhammer community team haven't put a post up either, and there's no information on the main Forgeworld website to say that last chance to buy is uh, live and running. So it's happening a bit surreptitiously. Now, I can't yet say if we're going to get an email, given the fact that one product went on to last chance to buy on Tuesday and then more went on today. Maybe we're going to get an email at the end of this week on Friday because last year, for the majority of the last chance to buy waves, we did get an email and that email came through on a Friday morning. But I don't know if they will. There was a quite a bit of heat generated in coverage, shall we say, by how the phasing of Last Chance to Buy was handled last year. Maybe Forge World aren't going to do that this year. I don't know. I'm speculating there. It's just a thought. But yeah, nothing over at Warhammer Community either regarding this. So what do I think? Well, um, looking at what's gone to Last Chance to Buy status so far, would, in my mind, be consistent with what I think they did last year, which was take out the slowest selling products. Slowest selling is not the right way of putting it. The least economically viable, when you consider all factors from volume of sales, storage space required, production uh, expenses, all those things. When you factor all those things in, they took out the least profitable ones, which is why there were some random odd things removed. So that is one thing that I've thought. Out of what's going off, well, as long as they keep the transfer sheets available, then Insignia Doors are nice, but they're not essential for the game. The Deathstorm Drop Pod is a niche product. I can see why they're taking that out. You know, they're not going to sell a lot. I mean, to be honest, that would be better serviced with a 
revision to the actual plastic kit to include the assault cannon option within it. The one that stands out though out of this bunch is a macro carried explorer tool. Now it's not a complete loss because of course a macro carried is essentially a mechanicum land raider. So as a gaming piece you could use any land raider model and do a little bit of conversion. You don't even have to convert it to be honest, you just buy a land raider, even a straightforward plastic Phobos one and paint it as Mechanicum and say, there is my Macro Carried Explorator, and that will do just fine. But I am sorry to see this model go, because it's a lovely model. Um, I bought one when it came out. Uh, it's one of my, it's one of them by one of my favourite four-door designers as well, Stuart Williamson. So it is a pity to see that go. And also within that, it's one of the rare models where you can actually get both irradiation engines. The only other place you can get those is on the Myrmidon Destructor kit. But more significantly, it is the only model in production ever that had a Graviton Imploder weapon included in it. And it, there will now be no Graviton Imploder included anymore, anywhere in the Forge World range. So those are my thoughts. For balance, because, you know, over at Leaky Cheese, we do like to take the wider view. So a bit like John Grammaticus and the Cabal like to take the long view. I like to try to take the wider view. On the plus side, the Iron Hands Contempt of Dreadnought has come back into production since last year, so that was asked for many times at events, so they listened and they did that. So, yeah, that was good. Anyway, I hope you've found this a useful little PSA. Do let me know what you think in the comments. Um, there'll be links to Twitter. If you hear of any other Last Chance to Buy Forge or products, uh, in particular related to the heresy, do let me know on any of my social media, be it Twitter, in the YouTube comments, or either is it my email address also available. Always interested to hear. I suppose my final thought is what I'm a little bit pensive of is while what's going now isn't a huge worry, are we going to see or are we seeing the beginning of another wave of last chance to buy um, sales? So last year, it lasted for five, maybe even six weeks, and it got fed through to us piecemeal. And that does concern me if we might be about to see the beginning of another wave like that. But that's just my speculation. As I say, do share your thoughts and comments down below. One other thing that I would like to say, though, I think from a point of view of where the game is this year, this isn't psychologically... Um, as worrying as it was last year. The Horus Heresy game is moved on, we've got book eight, you know, new stuff's coming out, they are clearly got plans to develop further, so you know, all the talk that happened last year around the Horus Heresy being discontinued or being ditched all turned out to be undue concern, let's say, and a bit of speculation. I hope we don't see more. So there's just another little thought in terms of where we are with the game overall. But as I say, do share your thoughts in the comment section. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time, and goodbye.